Uh, this video is on a brief history of Lancaster train station and uh, I, I like Lancaster train station because it looks very similar uh, and like to the um, Lancaster Castle which I will explain the reasons for that in this video. Lancaster Railway Station, formerly known as Lancaster Castle Railway Station, is a railway station that serves the city of Lancaster in Lancashire. It is one of the stations on the West Coast Main Line. It is located just over 20 miles or 33.76 kilometres from Preston. Originally known as Lancaster Castle Station in order to distinguish it from the first Lancaster train station which was in use from 1840 to 1849. The station was officially opened on the 21st of September 1846. The first public service ran into the station on the 17th of December the same year. The station was built as the southern terminus of the Lancaster and Carlisle Railway after the initial planned route for the line was changed in favour of a cheaper route west of the city. The station was remodelled in 1900 to 1906 when additional lines and platforms were added and further station buildings constructed. The new buildings were styled mock Elizabethan with the intention of mirroring the battlements of the nearby Lancaster Castle. Platforms 5 and 6 were electrified in 1908 to serve the now closed Midland Railway route to Morecambe and Heesham. This line closed in January 1966 and the overhead line equipment was removed. The track layout in the station was rationalised in 1973 when control of the signalling was transferred to the new Preston Power Signal Box. This included the removal of track from Platform 6, although this platform had seen no regular use for some time prior to this. The West Coast Main Line through Lancaster was electrified in 1974, and regular electric passenger services recommenced at the station on the 7th of May 1974. The main building construction the main building was constructed in 1946 by William Tite and it was situated on the west side of the line in Tudor revival style using roughly squared sandstone rubble. This two-storey building was extended southwards in 1852 in similar style, although this section terminated in a tower of three storeys. A new entrance was constructed in 1900 on the eastern side of the line and a foot, at footbridge level. The booking office is open throughout the week closing only in late evening. Ticket machines are also available there. A full range of facilities is offered including a newsagent, whilst there is also a buffy, waiting rooms and toilets on both sides and lifts between the footbridge and platforms. The entrance through the original building remains open. This opens onto platform 3 which is mostly used for northbound services. Two bay platforms to the north of this are used for terminating trains off the various branches to Heesham Port, Barrow and Furness, the Cumbrian Coast Line, Morecambe, Windermere and Leeds. Two through lines without platforms separate these three platforms with from the remainder of the station. These are used by non-stop passenger services and freight trains. Beyond this platform 4, which is a principal one used by southbound trains. 
but as with platform 3 it can be used for trains going in both directions. Next to platform 4 there is an island platform with a second face. Platform 5 which can be used by both northbound and southbound trains or by terminating services all platforms or signals for arrival and departures in either direction. Opposite platform 5 are the remains of platform 6 which has no track and has been out of use for many years.